I generally tend to drive extremely safely in these kinds of games anyway, even though I haven't, haven't actually really played that many. I, I used to play Euro Truck Simulator a huge amount, so hopefully that experience will come in handy here, even though I was perfectly acceptable in that game as well. Not, not uh, losing the cargo or anything like that, not overturning the entire trailer or anything, but it's a very relaxing game, very cool. Ah, and relaxing. Break. No. Hello reformers and welcome to a special feature of Bus Driver Simulator 2019. If you'd like to check out the game there is a link in the description. Anyway, this is my bus. Yeah, do you like it? Do you like it? I, I hope you do. Anyway, the point is, is that we're going to be driving this bus and we're going to try our hardest to get everyone killed, I mean, to bring everyone safely to their destination, obviously. I do have two, two doors, by the way. You can open these doors independently. It is a very true simulator in that regard. Anyway, you can see here there are a variety of different buses, all with different sizes and everything, and all with different costs as well. They are going to be very expensive. I bought this one for 5,000. You start with 5,000 in the career mode. There is currently only one map at the moment, but the game is in development and they are adding another one soon, as well as new buses and all kinds of other things. Anyway, let us select our route. So we have a variety to choose from here. We have five different routes to choose from. Railway station, school, ambulance station, uh, square, and this other place. I think what we're going to do is... Whoa, that, okay, that seems kind of difficult. I, I guess we'll, we'll try the railway station. I, tr I tried this just now, and let me just tell you, it's kind of kind of difficult. So, yeah, you can actually decide the intervals between stops. So, for example, if I wanted a little bit longer... Wait, can I do that, actually? Wait a minute, let's have a look. Yeah, I, I guess we'll do, do, do this. Uh, actually, wait a minute. Okay, so let's do that, and then we'll make our stop time... ...about a minute. I guess we'll just make our stop time like a minute at each place because you can go it's pretty uh, pretty harsh the amount that you have to drive you have to go pretty fast so let me see here I guess I guess we'll just do something like this why not okay let's let's try something like that uh okay I guess we'll try it all right so first off we got to start our engine there we go, the engine has started, and we now need to take off the brake and get the, all the way around here. Okay, so we have 30 seconds to get to the first bus station, which is right over here, and hopefully stop and not run anyone down. If it, bear, bear in mind that if you do go on to uh, anywhere but the road, you are going to get a penalty. You're going to get some kind of uh, some kind of monetary value penalty, so that's, uh, that's definitely not something we want to do. As you can see, we're getting a variety of different passengers right here. You can actually spy on them through this mirror here. You can see exactly where they're moving and everything, and uh, hopefully that is it. Okay, that is all done. Technically, I could wait here for more passengers because I do have a little bit of a buffer, but... Considering it has now passed the time, we will now be leaving, break off, and let's go. Bear in mind that if you leave a bus station early, you're also going to get penalized. So you do need to be a bit careful about your intervals and all that sort of thing. Anyway, we're going to be turning here. I'm going to activate my wonderful turning signal, even though there's probably no one behind me. But we're going to do it anyway. And uh, I think this is actually a stop sign right here, so I should probably stop. And we'll, we'll, we'll do a signal. Just to be safe. There we go. We'll just slow down a little bit. Everyone's got to move out the way anyway. We're a bus. I mean, come on. We are the king of the road. Let's face it. Anyway, we will hopefully be able to get to our next destination relatively soon. But thankfully, we do have that small buffer that I created in our route planner. And so we are going to be waiting basically... A, well, we have about a minute buffer in between every single stop. So that's going to make things just that little bit, you know, a little bit easier. Now... Hopefully, I will not see any police because, well, bad things happen whenever I see the police for some reason. I don't know why that happens because I'm driving perfectly safely, you know, not not going over the speed limit whatsoever, only by a couple of hundred miles an hour. But yes, otherwise, we are, uh, yeah, gonna have some gonna have some issues here. Okay, yeah, be be a little bit careful about the speed bump. Thank you very much. 
But anyway, the last time I saw the police, I, uh, I kind of panicked a little bit. And uh, me panicking does kind of result in dangerous driving. So, yeah, let's... Uh, I like that, for example. Very good. Okay, yeah, let me just switch lanes randomly and spontaneously. Not a good idea. Do not do... Do not attempt to drive your buses at home like this. Anyway, let's see if I can let a couple of people on. You can open both doors, but I found that just opening the front door is, is perfectly fine. They can all just, you know enter here and, and do all that kind of thing. As you can see, we are gaining money. Yes, this is money that we are gaining right now. We're gaining a little bit of bus fare right there. And we are now perfectly acceptable to leave. We do have the opportunity to leave right now. So I... Oh, hello. Who's that? Okay, well, st stay stay away from the bus driver, please. All right, so there's the, there's the doors. Well, I think we have a capacity of 50 people, I think. So that's pretty good. Anyway, let's get the break off. I was thinking to myself, why am I not moving? Why am I not moving? Okay, so hopefully everyone's going to make way for me. I do have a, uh, a mirror on the left there, so I will be able to see what's going on behind me. And hopefully I will be able to drive perfectly, perfectly safely. I mean, you know me. I generally tend to drive extremely safely in these kinds of games anyway, even though I haven't, haven't actually really played that many. I, I used to play Euro Truck Simulator a huge amount. So hopefully that experience will come in handy here, even though I was perfectly acceptable in that game as well. Not not uh, losing the cargo or anything like that, not overturning the entire trailer or anything, but it's a very relaxing game, very cool. Ah, and relaxing. Break. No. Okay, I think I may have made it. Oh, hello, police. Don't worry. Okay, I'm going to be uh, using my reverse gear. There we go. Let's try it. There we go. And there we go. Okay. That should be enough. Yes. <laughs> it's actually it's actually working quite nicely so far. Okay. Everyone uh, everyone on? Seems like everyone's on. Okay, fantastic. Good. I am going to need to get to the next place pretty quickly here. Oh, no. I think I may have done a bad thing by leaving my brake on too much. All right, so we're going to need to basically rush. Ah, uh, yes, my my back end, my back end was basically on the uh, on the side of the pavement there, so that is going to result in a small penalty. But uh, well, uh, that's just how it goes. Okay. Oh, and I also ran a red light. Yes, you can see, my my panic levels are increasing. Panic intensifies a lot. Okay, so, yeah, this route, I gotta say, is actually much more difficult than the other routes that I've been running, because there are many, many corners in this. There are varieties of different difficulties, obviously, because anytime you're gonna be driving on a straight line, it's pretty easy, because you don't have to really worry about, well, anything. But uh, when you're having to worry about turning, then obviously you have to do turn signals and all that wonderful stuff. There's only two people here, not a big fan of waiting here, to be honest, because there's only two, but I, I guess I do need to make up a little bit of... A little bit of the cash that I lost. I mean, you can see that I had, like, what, 570 or something? And now I only have 200, so yeah, you can imagine the, the penalties are pretty steep. Okay, so let's close that door and get on with it. Oh, actually, you know what? I'm going to have to wait one minute. And I guess I'm going to wait with the door open, just in case some people want to arrive. I'm going to have to wait a minute just to get our schedule back on track because it seems like I made it here a little bit too quickly. Alright, so five seconds to go until we can leave and there we go. Alright, so now let's uh, let's make our way over here. I have actually been stopping the traffic this entire time, but they don't mind. You know, we are a bus driver and that is that is all they need to know. You know, that is that is just it. Anyway, we have two minutes now to get to the next station and hopefully we will be able to do that without incurring any more fines. And uh, that means, oh wow, okay, yeah, you can actually hold tab to see where you're going in case you are not familiar with these roads just yet. Uh, oh, no, do not, do not go off the road, please, and do not collide with that, <laughs> do not collide with that taxi. Uh, yes, okay, well, again? Did I really collide with someone again? Okay, apparently I did. Uh, yes, well, you know one thing's for certain. If you think you can do better than me, then you know where to go. You know where to go. Okay, oh. I had I had the break off. I had the break off. Okay, yeah. Everyone aboard. Wow, there's some very strange looking individuals. No offense, people. Okay, oh, there we go. We actually do have 28. Wow, we made 28. Uh, well, I, I guess whatever it, whatever it is. The currency. 
So, 28, and uh, we have to wait a little bit before we can depart once again. Alright, so break off, and I'm going to depart. Hopefully I'm not going to get... Yeah, there we go. I didn't get fined, thankfully. I, I was a bit, you know, cautious about departing there a little bit too quickly. And, uh, yeah, hopefully we'll be able to make it to the next one. I don't think it's too far away, the next, uh, the next station, so this should be pretty easy. Let me slow down for the speed... Oh, well, never mind. Let's not speed... <laughs> slow down for the speed bump. Yeah, no. That's, uh, that's not necessary. No, it's not necessary at all. Apparently, uh, the bus has fantastic suspension and has not catapulted everyone into the atmosphere. So that's going to be fine. Anyway, seems like... Oh, the police are signaling. Well, that's that's fantastic. Very good. You go for it, police. Ah, there seems to be a lot of people here. Very good. Give me that sweet, sweet bus fare. Oh, and I was actually driving with my door open. Okay, well, that gives them a nice little bit of air conditioning, you know. I mean, we don't seem to have too many vents around here, so I suppose that's... That's decent enough. We gained 192 from that. That's very nice indeed. Hopefully we will be fine with, well, the next leg of our journey. We are actually almost done. There's only a couple more stops to go. All right, so this time around, I'm going to remember to close the door before heading off because, well, safety and all that. All right, so, oh, yeah, I also actually stopped my engine because I thought to myself, Yes, it would be kind of good to save some fuel, wouldn't it? Yeah, because just waiting there with your engine on, obviously that's going to, you know, take up some fuel. You do have to pay for the fuel, by the way, and uh, actually have to go to petrol stations to uh, fill her up, basically. So we do need, do need to be a bit cautious on that. But anyway, I do have a pretty large gas tank as far as I'm aware. Oh, sorry, people. Hope you're not too motion sick. I actually get motion sick, so uh, I should probably have a little bit more understanding about that, but I don't think they might. I think they're very hardy individuals that are perfectly capable of dealing with a, well, maniacal bus driver of some kind, so that's pretty good. Anyway, I do actually have quite a few, uh, quite a few, oh, no turn signal. Should have probably turn, turn signaled there, but that's all right. I mean, wouldn't you be happy if your bus came early? I mean, I'd be kind of happy if it came early and, and didn't drive this crazy, but still. Not going too badly. We have two minutes to wait now, because I've arrived so f so quickly. Oh well. Uh, I guess that's fine. You know, I've actually just realized something. These lights on the dashboard right here, they indicate whether the door's open or not. Yes, yeah, so yeah, as you can see, I have the back door open now, and the back door closed. And then, if I use the front one, then there you go, you can actually close that one too. So that's, that's a pretty fantastic way of knowing. I did not realize that up until now, so that's fantastic, isn't it? You can tell that I am very professional, of course. Anyway, let's, let's move off and uh, get to our next station, so let's see. Uh, do I need to turn? No, I don't need to turn, and I can just go very crazy down the down the street here. I am going to make sure that we don't collide any further with any more vehicles. Ah, oh, there's a 40, 40 speed limit. I'm actually unsure. How, how fast am I going? Oh, I'm going much faster than 40, as you can see. I was actually going at 60 right there. So that's not the best idea, especially for a bus. This is not speed, although it would be kind of cool if it was, you know, because then we have Keanu Reeves and... Sandra Bullock and everyone, and uh, yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be a pretty fun time. Oh, it seems like I'm actually going a little bit too fast. Uh, I do need to slow down here. Let's be a bit uh, be a bit more law-abiding in the last couple of stops here, and we do have some more people coming on. There we go. Nice, nice little stop here, and we'll open both doors and allow people to exit however they want and enter, of course. I, I guess they they should probably enter through the front and exit through the back, I would assume. That should be the thing, but anyway, there's 508 now we have on our fare, which is pretty good. I mean, we would have technically now over a thousand if I'd actually done this without crashing into things, but, uh, well, where's the fun in that? Alright, well, I guess, I guess the fun is uh, upgrading your stuff and getting new buses and things like that. Is everyone doing okay? The fireman is still on the bus, so it seems like he's going to be taking some time to get to his destination, whatever that may be. And it is time for us to set off in about five seconds. I don't want to leave too early, even though I am actually holding up a lot of the traffic. There we go. Okay, so now we can, now we can go. Thankfully, there are no pedestrians crossing this little area here, because they would be, they would be gone. Oh yes, they, they would, be, they would not know what hit them. 
although it would be a bus, so I guess they would, kind of, no, somewhat, but anyway, let's, uh, oh, thankfully, ooh, that was close, did not check my route there for a second, and I thought, ah, oh, I'm gonna miss a turning, no, that would not be good, that would not be good at all, but uh, thankfully, here's the next, here's the next bus stop, there's only a couple of people here, uh, okay, phew, that was, uh, oh, hello, okay, I guess, uh, you know what, I'm just gonna open the, the back, do they, do they actually enter the back? No, it seems like they don't even enter the back for the moment, so I, I guess using the uh, using the front one only is perfectly fine, so I guess I'll close the back one. There we go. Well, seemingly adding that, uh, that one minute buffer has added a little bit of extra waiting time for me, because otherwise I'm going to be losing 50 of my fare every single time I leave early, so that is obviously not something we want. Alright, so we're on the road again, and we only have one more stop to go, and we have three minutes to get there. I think we will easily make it, considering how much of a maniac I am on the road. We're obviously not going to be stopping for anyone. Oh yes, anyone that gets in our way, we're going to just mow them down, even though there are barely any pedestrians, actually. So, that's obviously nothing to worry about. And I've got to make sure that I'm not going to collide with any other vehicles, thank you very much and we should be good. Now bear in mind that you can actually play this game in VR as well, so if you do have something for VR, I don't, but if you do, then uh, it is compatible with that, and I can imagine how insane that is going to be, because, well, the simulation, they've definitely got the simulation down quite well here, and obviously it is still in development. Uh, is, that, is that a red light? That is a red light. Are you serious? Ah, oh, this is terrible. Well, I do have another, well, two minutes until I, uh, until I reach my final destination, so I suppose that's alright. And I wonder whether I've jinxed everyone by saying the words final destination, because you know what, you know what happens. You know what happens in those. But yes. All manner of other things. I wouldn't be surprised if the, the red light turns into some kind of laser beam and kills us all. Instantly. Although, it's probably not going to happen. I mean, the, the sky is kind of blue right now, so I guess that's alright. I'm kind of surprised this is taking so long, really. Oh well, never mind. I guess I'm actually going to use my turn signal to go to the right. And... Yeah, there we go. Okay, now we can leave. Thank you very much. And let me turn. There we go. And I'll use my other turn signal to go to the left now. And want to make sure I don't collide with anyone. Thank you very much. Okay, so this way? Yeah, this is the right way to go. Okay, fantastic. And I think... Where do I need to drop these people off? Ah, around here. And I made it with a minute to spare. Very good. Alright, everyone off. Everyone off. Break, break is on. There we go. Everyone's getting off now. And I think... I think we're good. There we go! Yes, route completed. And we earned 668... That is pretty nice. Alright, so... There's that. There we go. That's uh, that's actually it. And then you can actually drive around the city if you so desire. You can actually drive around in free mode. And uh, you can pick up fares, ra you know, randomly. You don't actually have to do a route. You can basically just pick up... As far as I'm aware, at the very least. I mean, I could be wrong about that. Anyway, let me reverse a little bit here. And I'll close this. And I think we can go back into our garage if we just... Uh, go over to this blue little icon here so we can actually go back in there and uh, select a new route if we want, you know? So uh, yeah, there you go. There's a, a little look at Bus Driver Simulator 2019 and there is a link in the description if you want to check it out any further. Anyway, I thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.